guys, it's your humble host, Ray Kiff, refer. So I'm back with an update on Save James. I'm going to try to go through this quickly. Um, I did just get up. Anyway, so for those of you who have not caught up, Jeffrey Younger has refused to comply with the counseling, which, good on him, I'm behind him in that 100%. For those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, um, the last hearing cap j- uh, Judge Kim Cooks is ruling, Judge Mary Brown did, However, though, they tacked on extra counseling because now they want to cancel or counsel the boys separately because counseling together isn't working in regards to brainwashing them. Now they want to counsel them separately and it's a form of alienation from each other. But, you know, they talk to each other. They're joined at the hip. Um, there's already some alienation going on as it is. So, yeah. Anyway, we're going to go through this briefly. This is 17 pages. Um, counseling and pretty much what's the exclusive right for counseling, psychological. Um, like I said, Jeff has not responded to any of the paperwork. The second counselor is Dr. Susan Fletcher, so uh, who cares? Um, anyway, though, um, she wants exclusive psychiatric say over the boys because Jeff refuses to comply with his bullshit. So, again, um, so conservatorship, which that is a part of, she got told no to, but she's asking for it again. Children's education, again, this has to do with sole conservatorship, which she got told no to. Jeff wants to homeschool the boys. Um, the school is also behind the bullshit that Anne is doing. Um, they go along with it. They've pulled some sneaky crap behind Jeff's back. If you don't uh, recall one of the situations where, um, James was sent to school dressed as himself, a boy, and then at the school, they made him change. They supposedly claimed that James himself changed into a dress as soon as he gave him one. Yeah, I, I, I call bullshit. Anyway, so that's just one example. And uh, the person that was emailing Jeff back and forth was dishonest. So there, there's a lot of garbage. Anyway, here's Anne asking for the exclusive right to choose where the boys school. She also doesn't want Jeff homeschooling the boys. No surprise there. I wonder why. Um, but uh, she doesn't want Jeff to have any say over their education. Of course not. This woman wants full control. She's a manipulative, freaking psychotic, you know what. Um, so there's that. Again, she's already been told no to this. So this is the fourth time I believe she's asking for it. She's just now putting it in bits and pieces of her motion because Jeff isn't going along with the program. Um, yeah, I, I'm so sick of these women. I really am. Anyway, um, so, and I guess Jeff has completely blocked out Mr. Stacy Dunlap, which, again, I am 100% for. Um, so for those of you who don't remember who Stacy Dunlap is, he was the attorney for the court or whatnot, and he was assigned by Judge Kim Cooks. He and try to get rid of him because he was he is the parent coordinator. However, though, um, I kind of lost all respect for the guy during the last day of the hearing simply because what came out of his mouth um, with him saying that Anne wasn't abusing the boys, which um, dipshit. Yes, she is. She very much is psychologically, uh, mentally and sexually because that this is a form of sexual abuse. I, I, I do not care. I, I will not hold my tongue. <laughs> Um, there's indications of, well, not, you know what, screw it, I don't even want to say that. Anyway, let's continue. So, he's not even responding to Mr. Dunlap, which, again, good on him, because, yeah, I wouldn't respond to this freaking BS either. Um, oh, and attorney's fees, which she's already been told no to. As a result, Jeffrey Younger, failure to follow court orders, petitioner request that respondent be ordered to pay reasonable inter- attorney's fees and expenses. Reasonable to you is all of it, which you've already been told no to. You're the one filing these damn motions. Um, for having to file multiple motions seeking an individual order for each step of this court order process. Oh, you thought Jeff was just going to go along with this because the court said to. No, this is him taking a stand for his children, you crazy 
Um, respondent is in possession of sufficient funds. No, see, you don't know. And here's here's where your dumb comes in because I know this is the part that Jessica and Jen sit through in. Uh, a fundraiser does not mean you have sufficient funds. On um, the amount that is showing, a lot of that has already been used. So, again, you have no idea how these things work. Jansik doesn't even know how online activity works. And, yeah, they proved to be how, they proved themselves how stupid they were during the hearing. Very much so. Uh, and here they are again. Uh, from his multiple crown, uh, crowd fundraising accounts. Multiple, there's only one, you dumb. Oh, my God. Or donations are solicited on behalf to help with legal funds and child care. Um, he only has one. There is one. The GoFundMe because there was two people that kept screwing with that. I'm freezing it, freezing it. No, it's done. There's only one. You were stupid. You were very, very stupid. Uh, but I wouldn't be surprised what other dumb stuff Jancic does because that is a that is a Jancic thing right there. That is not Anne. That is your freaking dumbass lawyer. Um, for the reasons set forth above, Petitioner and Georgias asked the court to render an order in conformity with request her in and award her exclusive rights, which would be AKA uh, sole conservatorship, but she's already been told no to, um, to consent to the counseling with Dr. Fletcher, the exclusive right to consent to psychiatric and psychological treatment of the children. The only psychiatric treatment and psychological treatment they need is from you. Um, meaning from the bullshit you've done. They don't know. See, I've, like I said, I met the boys, I've talked to the boys um, here and there, so yeah, no, yeah, I, um, anyway, but yeah, the exclusive right to make decisions concerning the children's education and turn fees for respondents' failure. So anyway, I'm going to show you something real quick because this is also in the document. Um, Jeff did file an appeal. There is an appeal because what they did with the counseling was total and utter nonsense. Um, this is 89 pages. No, we're not going to go through all of it, but this is pretty much if you want to have a very long read and get down into the nitty gritty, um, because this is going to go over all the stuff that that order goes against. Okay. So again, there is a hearing. Let me see if I can get to the exact time on this, um, because it's August 11th. Um, oh, nope. I didn't get out of time. But yeah, so that is what is going on. Um, they might try to throw the book at Jeff. I don't know what they're going to do, but I do hope that this appeal nullifies anything Anne may try to put out. Now, according to what Jeff told me, is the appeal is in. It is officially in um, the records, so that is good. I think they just filed it about a week or so ago. Anyway, I will keep you guys posted. Donation link, the only one, Jancic, uh, I'm sorry, I, I can't stand these people, um, is in the description. Um, the Google Drive is in the description. Um, and I'll keep you guys posted. Again, we have August 11th, and that falls on a Tuesday. So... I will be back at work at that point. Obviously, it's one of my work days, but I'll keep you guys posted as I hear things throughout the day. So without further ado, I'll let you guys get back to it. And prayers and keep your fingers crossed because these women are nuts. They want to destroy these little boys. The freaking the law firm is scum helping this psychotic woman. I could go on. Anyway, you guys have a good one.